Well, welcome back to Black Raccoon Land Management. Today, I've had some people requesting me to show how I turned the breakout pressure up on my machine. This here, if you guys aren't aware, is a RIPA R32, the Pro. Um, it is the R32-3 model, so it doesn't have the air cushion seat in it. It doesn't have the breakaway valve on the boom. Um, I'm sure that there's some other small changes that I don't know about personally. But those are the little differences uh, that I understand about uh, between the, the Dash 3 and the Dash 5 models. Um, I personally sat in both. Um, the Dash 5 model didn't seem like it had as much headroom. Um, so I, I chose the Dash 3 model partially because of that. And then the other reasons was because financially. But anyway, on to why we're here. Uh, we want to set our breakout pressure um, so that our machine is within factory spec. Uh, when I re received my machine from GSA, uh, I couldn't even get it to pick the tracks up off the ground. The pressure was set so low. So I went in, um, I had a guy named Pat that helped me out uh, and showed me how to turn the pressures up so I was able to actually use the machine. At that point in time, I did not have a pressure test kit. Today, I do have a pressure test kit that I ordered off of Amazon. Um, I will put that link for that pressure test kit in the description of this video. But from my understanding, this is your breakout pressure relief. And that is what we will be adjusting today. I'll bring you in and show you a little closer so you can see. It is this little Allen and then this is a 19 millimeter. Um, the Allen is a five millimeter. So what we will do is walk over here and fire the machine up and check and see what our base pressure is right now. Control down, and that'll give you all your uh, all your pressures to your machine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set you back here so you might be able to see coming up over my shoulder. I'm going to pull this boom back, and I'm going to deadhead it up against its top limit. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I have my pressure gauge right here that's tied in to my lift uh, my lift line on my main boom uh, cylinder so when we push it all up all the way up this pressure on this gauge is gonna get to see how that pressure starts to rise and now when this boom hits you'll see that pressure make a spike there it is see that pressure just spiked up to 2,000 psi now we're gonna take that and deadhead it until that pressure stops we don't want to hold it too long, we just want to get it to its maximum pressure. And as you can see right now, it's set at about 2250 PSI. That is not enough. The manufacturer recommends uh, in between 2800 and 3200 PSI or what comes out to 18 to 22 MPA. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and depressurize this machine. I'm gonna set the boom back down and I'll show you how to depressurize it. Boom is on the ground. Now what we'll do is flip this up, idle down, Shut the key off, shut the engine off. Now turn your key back on and drop your safety lever back down. So now these valves, if you move these in all four directions, it will release the pressure on that function. Now the other side, you'll probably be able to see some movement if not behind my fat. That just released some pressure. That released some pressure. Well, there wasn't very much movement because it was set down where it was supposed to be, but anyway, there's no pressure in the system now. 
So we're going to go back over. And uh, try to turn this pressure up a little bit. Get you guys in here so you can see what's going on. All right, so we're going here. So we have our 19 millimeter wrench and we have our five millimeter Allen. So you take your 19 millimeter wrench, bust that loose, that lock nut, back it out some. And I'm gonna turn this up a quarter, at a, a quarter of a turn at a time, just because I want you guys to see how much just a little bit will increase your pressure. So here's one quarter of a turn. Go ahead and put that lock nut back on. And just give her a little snug. And now we'll walk back over here. Do uh, do the same operation all over again. So we're gonna start the machine. Idle it up. Engage the, the valves. Pull the boom back up. Now grab the pressure valve and hold it so you guys can see it, hopefully. I'll tell you what, I'll probably pull you in a little closer here so you can actually see it. You'll be able to see over my shoulder right here, right in here when that boom comes up. And then when it hits that, that hard stop or that dead head, this pressure on this gauge is gonna jump. There's the hard stop. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and dead head it until the pressure stops, stops rising, but don't hold it past that. So now we're at like 2,575 PSI. So we want to go up some more. So we're going to go ahead and do the same operation all over again. And I won't make you watch it, but I will show you the pressure increases. I'm going to go up and turn it up another quarter turn. So we're drop the boom back down. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go do a quarter turn. That's a quarter turn. So let's see what happens with this one. Pull the boom back up. Grab the gauge so you guys can see here. There's my hard stop. Now we'll watch the gauge together. Look at that. We're at 2,900 PSI now. So we're 100 PSI over the low set limit. I'm gonna try to hit 3,200 PSI. So I think that almost a quarter turn should get us there. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it a little bit more.
So we'll go another quarter turn here. About right there. Tighten this up. Tighten our lock nut up. All right, so now I've gone three quarters of a turn in from roughly where I was set at from a factory. I wouldn't depend on that. I would buy the gauge set. That's just me though. So we're gonna go ahead and fire it back up. Here's your gauge. That got me to 3,100 PSI. I want that extra 100 PSI. So I'm going to go back over there and I'm going to turn it ever so slightly. But in the process, we have to reverse operation. All right, so we're gonna go to about seven. There we go. That should be the last adjustment we have to make. It's gonna get us around 3,200, 3,300 PSI. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's it. And I'm gonna put these over here on my workbench. Go ahead and do this one more time. There's our dead head. And then let's see what it goes to. Bam! that's what we're gonna roll with we're almost to 3200 psi so that one hour turn on a clock got us 100 psi maybe maybe a little less but we're gonna stay there just on to be on the safe side so go ahead put that boom back down All right, so this gauge kit, I wanna show you guys what all came in it. <clears throat> all of our test leads. And here is our test gauges, as you can see. Uh, these are all test port for single inlet. Um, those hoses clip on to this, or actually they don't clip, but they screw. I obviously am using this gauge right here. So there's that one. And then here is the under layer. This has got all the T's. Um, I believe that, yeah, the covers have got the designation of what thread they are. This one is U716. Not sure what U stands for. I know what 716 is. The T that I'm using currently for the main boom cylinder, uh, the cap says S1018. 
M18. I'm not sure if you guys can see that in the camera. Uh, but I assume that that is a M18 den fitting because I, I heard that these machines use den fittings, but I don't know for sure. I'm not an expert on hydraulics. So that's the test kit. I will leave a link in the description for this test kit. Uh, I was unsure that it would work when I ordered it, but to my pleasant surprise today, I found out that it does indeed work. So that is the process of raising your breakout pressure. Uh, I'm glad that you guys came by to learn with me because I had no idea how to do this myself. Um, I used chat GPT and I used Amazon stuff and I used internet stuff and stuff that other people have sent me. Uh, it seems like the RIPA community is actually pretty invested into helping each other, which is really awesome. Uh, not a lot of communities want to help each other, uh, just because they feel like that information may be proprietary or they feel special because they have the information. I want to share everything that I learn about these machines and everything that I learn about everything that encompasses these machines. I've never owned a diesel. I've never owned a piece of equipment. Uh, this is all a first for me. So you guys are walking through it with me at the same time that I am. And I really appreciate that. Uh, what's to come on the channel i'm gonna be doing some digging i've got more tree stumps to dig out i have got more woods to clear uh more holes to dig so i hope you guys stick around and see what all is to come for this channel i am really thankful that you guys are here today uh, i'm thankful for the guys on the internet that uh was looking for this information and uh Ask me for it because it compelled me to come out here and make a video for you guys today. So thanks for stopping by the Black Raccoon Land Management. Uh, we will be back soon with some more content for you. But for now, I'm going to go warm up. You guys have an awesome day.